John Henry and Kent Robinson bring him down. Green flag is out. We are underway. Insane Dwayne Chamberlain makes the move to the inside. Kent Robinson to second. John Henry, the steel driver, jumps out to the lead, heading down the back straightaway into turns three and four. Look at Dwayne Chamberlain make his way to the inside. Two car battle off of turn number four for the lead. Great battle shaping up for the lead. John Henry has it. Ken Robinson right there in the 7R, as is Insane Dwayne in the 20C. We're nose to tail right now for the front four spots. Stacking up a little bit further on. Billy Moyer right there in the 21, trying to make a move. Here comes Insane Dwayne going all the way to the bottom as they come to the line. Dwayne Chamberlain making the bottom side work. He's going to get real close with Ken Robinson that time. Ken Robinson closes the door off of turn number two, but opens it up just a little bit. Dwayne Chamberlain dives to the inside. Can't quite make it happen. Kent Robinson takes away the line, and John Henry continues to lead. Pace truck pulls off. They await the green flag from Rick Monroe. They approach the start zone, and we're back underway. Big time jump for the number 15 machine. Am I get called back? Nope, we're going to stay green here on that one. Big time jump up through the field, but Kent Robinson, your leader, Dwayne Chamberlain getting in on the fun. He's now up to second. The steel driver, John Henry, now shuffled back to third. Here comes Jimmy Mars on the inside of Billy Moyer for fourth. Great start there by Dwayne Chamberlain. He got a win here earlier this year for the 63rd season opener. He'd love to get another one. And look at Billy Moyer, a big run off of turn number two. He takes the third spot as John Henry slides high. Billy Moyer making his way forward slowly but surely in this one. Something's got to miss on the John Henry machine. He has slid back throughout the pack now, back to fourth after losing the lead right before the caution. Richmond, Indiana's insane. Dwayne Chamberlain trying to pick up another victory here at Eldora. The 20C machine carrying the colors of the St. Henry nightclub, looking to the inside, doesn't quite have it, but Josh, don't look now. Mr. Smooth, Billy Moyer on his way on the outside. Billy Moyer is coming. Jimmy Mars is coming. Which one of these drivers is going to get it done? Can Robinson hold him off? Can Dwayne Chamberlain find his way by to get his second late model win at Eldora Speedway this year? Five laps left to go. Kent Robinson on the low side. Dwayne Chamberlain on the low side, too. Here comes Billy Moyer on the outside. Billy Moyer in the number 21 machine to the outside and turns three and four. Going to turn it underneath Dwayne Chamberlain off of four. What a great crossover move, veteran style. Billy Moyer into turns one and two. He takes over the second spot. Billy Moyer chasing back to back. Boltus classic victories. Now just has one more driver. He has to get around in Kent Robinson. He is there, ladies and gentlemen. Less than a car length advantage. Can Kent Robinson hold on for three more laps? Billy Moyer so good off at turn number two, and he is there. He is there and nips the left corner panel of the Kent Robinson machine. Yellow flag on the speedway. My, oh, my, just as the battle for the lead was getting good, yellow flag is out. All right, lights are out, heading through three and four. Robinson and Moyer on the front row. Green flag is out, we're underway. Kent Robinson's going to have to get the restart of his life to hold off Billy Moyer, Dwayne Chamberlain, and Jimmy Mars. Down the back straightaway, Moyer gets a whale of a run, but here comes Insane Dwayne Chamberlain to the inside. Insane's now going to make it side by side with Billy Moyer for the second spot. Two more laps to go. Kent Robinson's going to have to drive his tail off to hold off two of the biggest competitors in late model history here at Eldora. Billy Moyer works through the middle right there. White flag, one more time around for Kent Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, Kent Robinson now opening up a bit of an advantage as he heads down the back straightaway. Bloomington, Indiana's Kent Robinson will take the checkered flag tonight at Eldora. Heading on over to the start box. They'll gas it up, and here we go. Green flag out, Ryan Sutter on the outside trying to take the lead. 1-0-1 of Jesse Weiscarver on the inside. Joel Dick as well making a move as he goes up to the third spot. Ryan Sutter, though, your leader as he comes high off of turn number three at the start finish line. It's a Hornets Nest back in the deep pack setting, but Ryan Sutter and Jesse Weiscarver, your top two, continue to battle for the lead off of turn number two. Jonathan Taylor running high, Joel Dick running low, Evan Taylor right there as well. Jonathan. 
will get the move on the high side as they head into turns three and four this time. Joel Dick still fighting hard down low though. A great three car battle for that third spot. Give it to Jonathan at the line. Six tenths of a second advantage for Sutter over Wise Carver. Here come both of the Taylor machines now up to third and fourth. They get around Joel Dick. Joel Dick back to the fifth spot. Here comes Evan Taylor on the inside. Take a look at that number seven machine. He's up to third. Gas him up, fellas. Let's go. Sutter's going to sail it off, and it turns one and two and try to regain the lead from Evan Taylor. He does so with a great move down the back straightaway off of turn number two. But now Evan Taylor dives back to the inside with an Eldora slide jump. He hangs onto the lead. First slap of the night that Evan Taylor leads. Evan Taylor, your leader. Ryan Sutter now goes back to second. Make that back to third as Wise Carver gets by as Sutter drifts high through turns one and two. We've got one off the pace and up into the wall as well off of turn number two. We'll have to see if he can make it back before the yellow comes out. Evan Taylor sees the cross flags this time. We're halfway home. Good racing going on from fourth on back as Jonathan Taylor fell back a little bit on the restart and not had the best start he wanted. He's trying to make his way back through the field. But meanwhile, out front, it is all Evan Taylor right now as he continues to separate himself from the rest of the field. Evan Taylor, your leader over Jesse Weiscarver, Joel Dick, Brian Ruhlman, Ryan Sutter, your top five. Brian Ruhlman makes up some ground. Started on the inside of row number five up to the fifth position. Evan Taylor out front again, Weiscarver, Jesse Weiscarver in the second spot right now. Joel Dick in third, but here comes Brian Ruhlman. Ruhlman looking for the third spot up high off of turn number four. Can't quite get it that time, but he does have momentum as they go into one and two, and Ruhlman is going to pick up the third spot. Ruhlman making his way forward, but does he have enough time with just six laps to go to make a run for second or for the win? Evan Taylor picking him up and putting him down right now as he comes off of turn number four. Two laps to go this time by for Evan Taylor. And it looks like Taylor might be a little bit off the pace through turns one and two this time. The leader is off the pace. Here comes Weiscarver. Here comes Ruhlman. The white flag is out this time. Taylor still on the track, but he has slowed down. The battle for the lead is going to end up being what was the battle for second. Weiscarver followed by Ruhlman as they head down the back straightaway. Weiscarver in the 101. Brian Ruhlman trying to pull off a slide job through three and four. Ruhlman's going to get it done. Ruhlman wins at Eldora. Anthony Good, Rob Trent, they approach the start zone. Green flag is out, and the stock car feature is underway, and here comes Paul Pardo trying to go from fourth to the lead off of turn number two. Won't be able to make it happen this time, but he does get up to second. Rob Trent, still your leader. One eight fifteen Eldora Stock Car Champion Rob Trent leads the way, but the four ten no stranger to danger Paul Pardo he is right there as they head into turns three and four diving to the inside trying to pull off a slide job. Will he get it done? Yes, he will. Slides up on the nose, and Paul Pardo is your leader. Textbook slider from Paul Pardo, the new Paris Plow. He's made his way like a pit bull in a china shop from the fourth position to first here in this feature event, and we're only two laps into this bad boy here, Josh. 44 F car of Josh Fry pulls it to the infield there as we continue to stay green. Last time by Rob Trent, six-tenths of a second behind Paul Pardo. What's the advantage at this point? Rob Trent cut in two tenths of a second on that lap on Paul Pardo's lead. And a great battle going on for third right now as well as Ernie Woodard gets by the 5G of Anthony Good, but a battle shaping up for the lead. Paul Pardo got there quickly, but Rob Trent is right there on his bumper as they come to the line. Just a few laps ago, Ernie Woodard was in the fifth spot. Now he's going to make this a three-car battle for the lead. Ernie Woodard in the 01 car out of Kentucky. Here he comes as Rob Trent gives the shove to Paul Pardo. It's going to be a three-car battle, Josh. 
Rob Tread looks to the inside of Pardo as they hit into turns three and four, and we've got a yellow out as the 1W is up into the wall. That's Mark Wooten out of Greenville, Ohio. Yellow flag is out. Lights out. They come through three and four. Here we go into the start box. Light them up. We're back underway. Carl Pardo leads him into turn number one. Rob Trent there in second. Ernie Woodard right there in third place as well. Rob Trent gets a good run off of two. Gets right up on Pardo's bumper. He'll try to take a peek to the inside as they head into turn number three. Can Rob Trent make it stick? Yes, he can. He pulls the slide job. New leader at the line. Take a look now. A great battle. Jordan Conover threads the needle, moves his way up to the fourth position. Josh Fry back out on the racetrack in the 44F. He makes up some ground as well. Anthony Good getting shuffled towards the back. Up for the second spot now. Here comes Ernie Woodard to the outside of Paul Pardo. Pardo trying to hang tough on the bottom, but Ernie Woodard's got the 01 machine hauling on the outside. Rob Trent is your leader. Car number 69, Ernie Woodard's gonna get up there and say, um, excuse me, Mr. Trent, I've got a thing or two to say about this before it's all said and done. Coming down now, three laps to go for Rob Trent. Whoa, Pardo kicks her way sideways off a of four. Breaks a ton of momentum, he might be finished. Ernie Woodard now is gonna try to use every trick in the bag to try to run down Rob Trent. Couple of veterans here. Look at Woodard with a big time drive in turn number four. They come off the line side by side. Ernie Woodard with that top line is going to say, see you later. I've got this baby going. Rob Trent says, no, 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 not so fast, Mr. Woodard. Oh, yellow flag is out. Here we go. Restart. We are back underway. Pardo's going to dive to the inside of Rob Trent and it turns one and two. Trent goes to the inside of Woodard. They're going to be side by side, almost making contact off of turn number two. Ernie Woodard, the 01 machine, sails it off into turns three and four. Pardo to the inside of Trent for second. Door to door off of turn number four. White flag one more time around for Ernie Woodard. He's going to hook that right rear on the cushion and ride it around turns one and two. Ernie Woodard out of Georgetown, Kentucky, fifth in the A main to open this season. It's going to come through turns three and four and take that checkered flag tonight at Eldora.